This next story is full of color, song, dance, and yes, roller skates. Xanadu the movie became a cult classic, even though it was a box office flop. Surprisingly, Xanadu the musical has quickly become one of Broadway's surprise smash hits. Why is Xanadu? Or why did I decide to do Xanadu? Because um, you're so young. Because I'm so young. I didn't know any better. Producer Robert Ernst was the driving force behind bringing Xanadu to Broadway as a new stage musical. But nobody shared Ernst's initial enthusiasm, including the man who would become the writer of Xanadu's book, Douglas Carter Bean. The movie was a flop, but the album was this huge success. So it was actually given this opportunity that people sort of knew the premise, knew the score, everybody loved the score, and I could write yes. this new book. I would like to open a roller disco. <laughs> How timeless. Timeless. I mean, we are taking this awful movie and putting it on stage, and it's at the Helen Hayes Theater. I mean, come on, <laughs> Helen Hayes, the first lady of the American stage, and we're doing Xanadu there. Broadway regular Tony Roberts plays Danny, Gene Kelly's role in the film. We were very surprised by what happened to Xanadu. Uh, we didn't know what would happen right up until opening night. As I was filing out of the theater that night, I saw Douglas Carter Bean stay sitting and standing in the audience getting reviews over his cell phone. And that was the first time we heard that we were a hit. So hence, when we got those amazing reviews, these critics really got what we were trying to do. It's deliriously over the top. It's silly and beautifully done, like saying, we're going to make this as silly and crazy as possible. There's just a particular excessiveness and yet exquisiteness that gay guys wanting to make something really fun and over the top can do. It's so weird that there's no, there's nothing gay about the story, but it feels like the gayest show I've ever seen on Broadway. It's very interesting, the gay label on the show, which I wholeheartedly embraced. There was an element of, that I was really interested in writing with, which was camp. That there would be this awareness of everything, of how horrible the movie is, but also how horrible the state of theater is. Just to kind of laugh at it all. The muses are in retreat. Creativity shall be stymied for decades. <laughs> the theater? Why, they'll just take some stinker room movie or some songwriter's catalog, throw it on a stage, and call it a show. <laughs> there is something about laughing at the sincerity and the earnestness of everything that is certainly a gay outlook. There isn't a fear of, of going gay in the show, but at the same time, uh, a majority of our audience right now is from out of town. So they're obviously getting it and enjoying it. The non-gay plotline in Xanadu sits squarely in the tradition of boy meets girl. I play Clio, uh, a Greek goddess muse. So she is sent to Earth to inspire art in Sunny Malone. You have to believe we are magic. This goddess has come to Earth and fallen in love with a mortal, which she's for been forbidden to do by her father, Zeus. Kira strikes up the forbidden romance with Sunny, just as two of her sisters begin plotting against her. And Zeus did not I'm Mel Pomene or Melpomene, I, I never pronounce it right, who's the oldest of the muses, who is very upset that she was passed over as lead muse. I need not tell you, as firstborn, I was entitled to the position of leader of the muses. And yet Zeus did not grant thusly. What gives? And so she enlists the help of Calliope. Die. Yes, to, who is the muse of epics, and I'm the muse of tragedy, to help her get Kira, 
who yeah. was named. You undo know. the heroine. Yeah, the pretty undo girl. the heroine. Would that I were a god, I would smite. Oh, sister, sister, you are such a, what's the expression I'm looking for? You're a They'll be like evil stepsisters. They'll just be angry. He wrote our parts for each of us, so he wrote yeah. for both of us. So if it wasn't for him, I mean, you know, who else but a middle-aged homosexual would have both of us in a sh the same exactly. show? Exactly. <laughs> Cackling and hiding, listen to us. This is like children's theater for 40-year-old gay people. <laughs> Cheyenne Jackson plays the part of Sonny. Oh, hi, my name's Sonny Malone, and I'd like to rent this large auditorium for an event I'm planning. He arrived in New York City in 2002 and has quickly become one of Broadway's rising stars. But the often closeted journey promising actors take on their way to fame is not the road taken by this leading man. Being out of the closet, it was never something that I really ever thought about. I'm just a really open person, for better or for worse. My agents, publicists, people would perhaps want me to be less open, but I just, it's just the way I am. I want my talent and my, my character to speak for who I am. I start the show on stage and if it's a really, really gay crowd and they're really exuberant and, and boisterous, then we know what's going to work. We love our gay audiences. They're completely different. Like, Cheyenne will come off and he's like, oh, the gays are here. I love it. I love coming to the theater. I love the family. I just love the story. I love the unabashed joyfulness of it. I really think it's the little show that could. Yeah.